guys. So I wanted to kind of show you all um, in the last video, I kind of talked about my garage sale. Uh, all the stuff that I find here is basically stuff that I picked up at garage sales or outsourcing. So uh, let me just kind of talk about some of this stuff because I did buy some of this for dirt cheap. Guys, so down here is a few Hot Wheels. Nothing to brag about. They're like 94, 95 cents a piece. I'm selling them for a buck, so <laughs> not a lot of profit. It's a joke. It's whatever. Um, it's because I I collect a lot, so I come across a lot. Um, they always got them for sale, like buy one, get one free, and that's how I make a buck extra. Down here, I find these at the flea market all the time. It's these Disney Infinity um, guides. Uh, what do you call them? They're like, it got the figure and all that stuff. Um, the little portal piece. They don't really sell that great anymore, uh, especially because they discontinued some of it. Down here, I got a DJ band or DJ Hero, as you can see. Bunch of them for the PS4. I'm trying to get rid of my garage sale because eBay, you know, it's it weighs a lot and it's bulky, so it's really not worth uh, sending out. I've seen them as low as 10 bucks, and they used to go for a lot of money, around 50 bucks. Um, but I bought them for like five dollars at a garage sale. Uh, here I just got Nintendo 64 stuff, cases, uh, Super Nintendo cases. Uh, let's see, here's some. NES, just different things. Um, I do got these on eBay. I'm selling them for, uh, let's see, $6.95 with shipping. Uh, might have even rounded it up to 10 bucks a case uh, just because I do know people buy it. And I try to protect it when I ship it out. So, because it is pretty flimsy. As you can see, Pokemon Stadium 2. Let me try to open it. And there you go. You just put the case, I mean, the game right there. Fits perfect. And I mean, it's in really high quality. There we go. All right. Down here, I got this car tire. I paid a dollar for it. I'm asking 10 on it. Um, it actually came with a mini one that, let's see, that is right there. I don't know if you can see it. I kept that one. Always wanted one of these big watch clock tire, uh, tires, but I've got no space right now. I'm trying to downsize. Bunch of statues I bought for dirt cheap. I'm selling for five bucks a piece. Um, there's some cool ones like this German castle. Let's see. Let me see if I can pull it out for y'all. All right. There you go. It's really cool. Very heavy and not something I want to sell on eBay. I could ask more than five bucks for it, but I've got so much stuff I just need to downsize. Um, I found this the Savers. Uh, usually they're between two and four dollars, um, especially on their on sale. I'm selling them for five bucks a piece. They're just a bunch of learning tablets and iPad cover for kids, uh, more tablets and laptops. Uh, like I said, five bucks, nothing, nothing expensive. Uh, could ask more than ten probably for them, but they would need to get cleaned up and stuff. Uh, got to downsize. Down here we we got some board games, brand new sealed, selling at five to ten bucks a piece. Um, Storage Wars Entertainment, trivia game, stuff that I just don't want to deal with on eBay. Um, I know some people do. I just don't. It's bulky. Shipping would be a hassle, and I don't know. just takes up too much space, so I'm putting it in my garage. So, you got these Muhammad Ali posters. No, I did not print these. I'm selling them for a dollar a piece. Nothing much. Uh, this is when he passed away. I got a bunch of them at a hotel that they gave away. And just figure I'd give them away or sell them to a few people. Um, over here, we got this in sync. Uh, still a brand new package. I don't think this is ever going to sell. I got five bucks on it. I think I'm asking 15 on it on eBay. Uh, got this brand new speaker set, 30 bucks. Um, just for your computer speakers. Uh, I think I paid 30 for it and I bought one extra that, that I don't need, so I'm just trying to get my money back on it. Probably will never happen, but hey. Uh, never throw away your receipts. I got this Halloween face mask that I found at Party City about a year ago. I uh, just pulled it out, put it here, I put $2 on it. Got this another clock. Got some cars pins. Got a license plate, some ink. I don't know. 
if I should sell these, to be honest, I do tell them that the date's expired on them. I know some people still use them, but I got two bucks on it. Nothing, nothing much. I got this little drill, uh, cards, eraser, cool eraser. Some decals I printed when I had a graphic design business. Uh, just custom stuff. I got dollar on all of them. Uh, some vases. Really cool statue. That's content on it. Got G.I. Joe. Uh, they are inside. There you go. That's going 10 bucks on that whole box with all the accessories. Bunch of accessories. Um, it's not the older set. Uh, it's about probably 90s. Um, Panasonic video camera training program. That's content on it. Really cool piece. Um, somebody might be interested in this. I had it on eBay for a while, but I took it off. It's also heavy. I know y'all probably say, well, why does it matter if it's heavy? Just charge them shipping. I just don't want to deal with it because it takes up a lot of space in my inventory room. If it sits for too long, two, three months, I'll put it out here in Grosso. Um, a bunch of knives that I buy in bulk, sell them. I got them anywhere from two, five, and ten bucks. All right, now let's go on this side. This is just my mother's stuff. She's trying to sell some jewelry and stuff like that. Got these cool M&M dispensers. I've been selling eBay for 30 bucks a piece. Uh, down here, some DVDs, books, books, some other stuff my mother's selling. Up here, are some custom shirts I made, some really cool ones. And uh, got this hat. I bought this at another grocer for a dollar. And I bought them in bulk. Um, I've been selling them on eBay for like $15. So not a bad profit there. Got a bunch of Pokemon cards, baseball cards, uh, some more Pokemon cards, music CDs. A bunch of disc-only video games that I put out here. Um, old school games. Got a Wii I'm asking 50 on. Probably let it go for 40 That's a bunch of accessories. A PS1 for 10 bucks. Some old school PC games. I got five each on, which is ridiculous because I know these are worth a lot more. I believe one of them is worth more than 40 bucks last time I checked. Um, there we go. I got, I'm asking three of these because I actually bought them for 448, which is ridiculous because I think these were like 15, 18 dollars a piece when they came out. So stuff is definitely going out. Now this might be worth more money later on. Uh, but it's just all about space, guys. And this is what I picked up at the garage sale. Sorry if the camera's blurring again. I mean, not a garage sale, at, uh, at the dumpster diving. Still love this. I'm probably going to put this in part of the garage sale so sell it locally. Uh, there's a strategy, guys, again. And that's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. There's a golf club, there's a crib, just stuff I'm trying to get rid of. I found this in a dumpster too. I got five bucks on it. Figured somebody might buy it. Um, found this in a dumpster, really cool. There we go. I'm actually asking 10 on this mirror. I don't know if anybody would buy it, but like I said, I found it in a dumpster. So <laughs> it's a little profit there. But I'll show you all my inventory room one day. Um, Right now, I can't do it. My daughter's asleep. Um, I'll show you all the actual collection at some point. And just want to kind of give you all a, a tour of what I do when something doesn't sell on eBay. And I just want to put it out here and have it always set up. So if I just want to start up a garage sale, that's what I can do. So I always keep it like this. Just walk out here, open the garage door, and boom, ready for a sale. So, all right, guys, y'all have a good day, and stay tuned for some more videos, and I will be trying to get a better camera to record with, so just bear with me. Y'all have a good day, guys.